Good morning and welcome to Storytime, coming to you from the Avon Valley Churches on the edge of the New Forest. My name's Janet. Now today we've got a candle lit for a special reason. On Sunday in the church we celebrate the festival of Candlemas, when Jesus as a baby was taken to the temple and we'll hear more about that later. Let us think about the candle. I've got one lit here by the side of me, which has given me light. What other ways can a candle help us? Yes, it can give us light. It can also give us light to follow, maybe to rescue us from somewhere. It sometimes can give us warmth. It also can be a welcome, a light shining brightly, maybe in a window, as we have done recently, to say thank you to people for helping us, or maybe remembering people. A candle can also be on a birthday cake, and you can blow it out with great joy as you count down your birthday. As Janet said, we're going to look a little bit now at why candles and light are so important in the idea of being rescued or being a rescuer. Why do you think they might be important? Let's explore that a bit further. Here are some different images about people who are rescuers and also some people who need to be rescued. As you look at them, have a think about who are the rescuers and who needs to be rescued and how do you think that these pictures might link to Jesus? We're going to listen to a story now about two old people who were waiting for a rescuer. They lived a long time ago and these two old people weren't involved in a crash, they weren't in a storm, they weren't even ill. In fact, they weren't really in any danger or difficulty. Their names were Simeon and Anna and they were friends. Anna's husband had died when she was a young woman and she had since spent her life living in and looking after God's temple in Jerusalem. Simeon lived in the same city. Both Simeon and Anna loved God very much. Anna would spend her days in God's special house, the temple, and while she did all her ordinary tasks, she would sing praises to God. Simeon would spend his days praying and listening to God also. So why did they need a rescuer? Well, both of them were very concerned about their country and their people. The little country of Israel had been taken over by a foreign power. What was worse, that was many of the people who had once loved God seemed to have forgotten all about him. Their world was really in quite a mess. Both Simeon and Anna were getting old but they were waiting for a special event. God had promised that he would send a rescuer for his people, someone who would help them to love God again. Anna was sure she would meet this rescuer one day, and so was Simeon. One day, the big temple doors swung open, and in walked a couple carrying a little baby. This happened quite often as the custom was for parents to bring their little babies to the temple to say a special thank you to God. Anna always loved to stop what she was doing and to welcome these families. On this particular day, Mary and Joseph had brought baby Jesus to the temple. He was only six weeks old. Mary had wrapped her baby in a warm shawl for the long journey to Jerusalem. I wonder if that faithful donkey had carried them along the way again. Oh, a little baby, said Anna. How lovely. At that moment, something amazing happened. Her old friend Simeon arrived at the temple too. That morning, when he had been praying, he had just felt that he should go to the temple. Old Simeon approached the young couple, looked closely at the tiny child and then took him in his arms. He doesn't usually do that, thought Anna in surprise. A big smile came over Simeon's face. Oh God, he said, 
You promised you would send somebody to rescue your people, and now I have seen him. This little baby, he is a light to the world. Anna gasped. She saw it too. Here was the rescuer for whom she had waited such a long time. But a baby? She hadn't expected that. She smiled, and then she laughed, and then she had a cuddle of that special baby, and then she spent the rest of the day telling everyone else who came to the temple all about Jesus. She didn't get much else done that day. As Christians, we often light a candle to remind us that Jesus is the light of the world. He came to help us, to comfort us, and also to celebrate with us. Now it's time for us to say our prayer, and we've already lit our candle, so let us pray. Dear God, thank you for sending Jesus as a rescuer. Thank you that he did indeed bring light, truth and love to the world through his actions and teachings. Please help our world today in the same way you help Simeon and Anna. Amen. Thank you for joining us today. I hope you've enjoyed your time with us and we look forward to seeing you again in the future. And let us end with our blessing. It's time to go. We'd like to say, God be with you all through each day. Bye.